What, um, what would you like to share to others um, as some final remarks or closing remarks uh, from today? Um, what would you like to share with them? I think what I'd like to share is, I, as difficult as it is, don't wait until the doctor says to you, this is how much time you have. I was blessed with that. Not everybody is blessed with given that. Some people are taken in their sleep. Somebody, some people get, you know, an accident. To me, this is a blessing because the Lord has given me the opportunity. I think when we spoke one time, Pastor, I was talking to you about when you first got married. And I said, and I'm sure you and your wife, maybe the first time you, you know, right after you were married, may have walked through the mall and saw the store, Babies Are Us, and may have sat there and imagined, oh, one day we're going to have children, and oh, it was not going to be wonderful, and then went right out of your head and kept walking around the mall. The day your wife got pregnant, all of a sudden, Babies Are Us became the most important store in the mall. It's the same thing. When we leave this life, it's preparing for a new birth. Our souls are now getting in position. The body is starting to break down. And now we're going to be born of spirit into our new home, our eternal home. And I think it's so important that Christians don't put off realizing that because there are so many lost. There are so many people who need Jesus. And if we keep thinking, well, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll do it the next day, or you know, I'll call up my father tomorrow and talk to him about it, or my sister, or I'm not gonna take this opportunity, tomorrow may not be here. And a lot of times it breaks my heart to think of the times that I had opportunities and I didn't witness. It's like, seeing people in a burning building and you're just going to stand there and watch it burn. You're not going to run in to save them. Don't worry if they think you're stupid or they think you're ridiculous or they don't want to be bothered. You're saving their life. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think twice if somebody was on a train track and a train was coming. You wouldn't say, ooh, I don't want to, it's really none of my business. They may think I'm stupid if I pull them off the train track. Of course not. You're a hero. Well, guess what? You're a hero if you're, you're going to help them have an eternity with Jesus as opposed to an eternity in complete suffering. What would you share to those who, who aren't Christian? What I would share is, is that Jesus... Go ahead and look into the camera and just tell I, them. If you don't know Jesus, I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm not asking you to read a book. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm asking you to ask Jesus. Ask him. He is faithful. Get on your knees. Say, Lord, this woman I saw on YouTube or wherever you see me tells me that you're, you're, you are there for me, that you love me, that through you I can have eternal life. I don't know whether she's right or wrong. I don't know whether it's true or not. I, don't, I have no idea. But right here, right now, I'm asking you, if you are who she says you are, show me. And let me tell you, Jesus will show you. Because more than anything, he wants you to have an eternity with Him. Just ask Him. I'm not saying that all of a sudden you're going to see lightning or something's going to happen. It may. He may choose to. But let me tell you something. He is faithful and He will show you and He will lead you. That's what He did for me. And you can have that peace and you can have that joy and you can have the knowledge to know that once this life ends, and it is going to end, that you have someplace so much better to go and you won't have any fear and you will have the peace of knowing that you're going to close your eyes here and you're going to open them and you're going to look into the eyes of someone, the creator of everything, who is going to just fill you with such joy that you're going to be speechless. So, and that's what I'm praying for and I'm praying for that right now. Whoever's seeing me, I am asking you, Lord Jesus, to touch their hearts and let them take this challenge to ask you to come into their lives. And I know that that prayer will come back filled. Ecclesiastes 7, uh, 2 says this, It is better to go to the house of mourning uh, rather than go to a house of feasting. For death is the destiny of every man. The living should take this to heart. 
One of the reasons I asked uh, Tony Ramondini to uh, come and speak um, is just knowing that um, that the destiny of death is is coming near according to what the doctors had said. Um, but when that has been given, we're given a, a different perspective. And it's a perspective of living and it's a perspective of life. And in that perspective, it, it changes a lot of things, changes what's important to our lives, changes uh, the fact of even looking at eternity. Um, how do we even get peace under such circumstances in life? Tony has found that peace in the relationship with Jesus Christ. She's found the joy. She's actually been asked by others, how are you so peaceful? How do you find this joy when you're only given a few months to live? And the fact is she's found that in Christ. She knows where she's been and because of Jesus she knows where she's going. And for that we can thank Christ. If you have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to turn your life over to Him. That as you give yourself over to Him, that He would come into you, that He would bring you new life, an abundant life in the here and the now, but also that He would give you an eternal life um, in the later. Randy Alcorn had said that our life here on earth for those who don't believe, it's as close to heaven as we're ever going to get. That is the good times. But those, for those who have known Jesus Christ and have accepted Him as Lord and Savior, this is the closest to hell that we're ever going to get. And so it's something to think about in our lives. May you also turn your life over to Him because He loves and He cares greatly for you.